8th. Happy Saturday. Oh my God, y'all. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. You ever just get to a point where you feel like you're burned out? Like burnt out. I feel burnt out today. Just, I don't know. I've been trying to do too much. You know, just every day, just trying to do more and more. And I'm just tired. Yesterday after work, okay, I had to go pick up my son and a friend of his from somewhere after work and I took his friend home. And then my son wanted to go to Walmart to purchase some clothes for Spirit Week next week. They're doing, <clears throat> they're doing Spirit Week, you know, where every day they are supposed to do a different thing. And one of the themes is... Um, I forget what it's called. So I, I don't remember the names of these themes, but there's this one day where he wants to dress up as a, a barbecue dad. I said, what in the world is a barbecue dad? So that sounds kind of like something that, you know, Hannibal Lecter would do, but what the hell is a barbecue dad? He said, it's a dad that is getting ready to have a cookout at his house. And that's oh, one of the th things too. A barbecue is a different thing in different places. Now, if you mention having a barbecue down here, it's not the same as in another place. What you might refer to as a barbecue, we call a cookout. If you're talking about barbecue, you're talking about the food, you know, like chopped or sliced barbecue, you know, chicken, pork, beef, whatever. That's a barbecue. That's barbecue. You're having a barbecue. I'm expecting some barbecue on my plate. I don't mean hamburgers and hot dogs. That's a cookout. Anyway, so he said he wanted to be a barbecue dad. And I said, I don't even know how to shop for that. What is a barbecue dad? What do they wear? He said, I need some jeans and one of those skinny, one of those tank tops, you know, with the, I'm not going to say what they're called. You know what I mean? Like the white tank tops with the skinny straps you know they have a they have a name people have a name for them so i said oh um i mean yeah you can get those at walmart but see for me when i think about a day i do with a cookout i think of like you need some khaki cargo shorts a pair of scuffed up white new balances that are you know dirty because those are his yard mowing shoes and he's just put them on because they're comfortable um and you need some kind of dad t-shirt like a salt life t-shirt or something with a funny picture or a saying on it. And then you gotta have the apron. You gotta have an apron with something funny on it. You gotta have that. He said, I'm not wearing an apron to school. I said, but you wouldn't look like you're getting ready to cook out, right? He said, barbecue. I said, you know what I mean. You're getting ready to do a cookout. You need your apron and you need like a giant spatula and one of those brushes for the grill. You know, you need a whole bunch of stuff if you're planning on doing all that well he said I don't want to do all that I don't want to do all that I said well dang it anyway we went so we were both really tired for some reason and I was god by the time we got to Walmart I, I just you just feel bone tired like you're just weary and it can hit you all at once just all of a sudden I'm feeling good and then all of a sudden I really do not feel good anymore I'm just I'm so over this week I am just so ready to go go home and not do anything else they're actually selling barbecue plates tonight for the Jamestown Public Library I'm gonna get it I'm gonna get one and make an extra donation I love to help support the library back there they're so great but uh, my kids don't want a plate because they don't like barbecue and again I mean like the chopped barbecues, you know, slow cooks. You know what I'm... Are you going to stop? Jesus Christ. Hot damn, dude. He, people do that around here, and I don't know why. They will come flying up to a stop sign, and it, I swear to God, it looks like they're not going to stop. Lord, what was I saying? Now I got a butthole and a Jeep on my bumper. All right, Jeep people... Y'all need to calm the hell down. Funny thing is, the guy that flew up to the stop sign is now on his ass. 
and it's another Jeep. It's two Jeeps. The Jeep came flying up to the stop sign, and he's riding the ass of it. What you? What are you doing back there? I'm not speeding up for y'all. I'm already going five over. Oh shit! This first Jeep's turning off now. The the other one's gonna be on my bumper. This is awesome. Yeah, go on. Turn off. You just going home to eat Doritos. I don't know what the hell your hurry is. Uh oh, here he comes. Here he comes. He gonna get on my ass. Why don't you just go ahead and pass me in the turn lane? You know you want to. How can it, how does it not show up in my how can you not see that? There's another Jeep. You get rid of one, another one pops up. It's like a box of Kleenex. How does that work? What was I saying? What the hell was I saying? So, bone tired. Yeah, get on my ass. I don't care. Because if I get a speeding ticket, you won't pay it. I don't care. Well, ugh. I'm watching this guy because he's weaving a little bit. And I'm a little nervous. I don't want to die this morning. All right, the speed limit goes up over here. What are you weaving around for? You know, it, here he goes. He's passing me in the turn lane. No, he's turning off. Okay. God almighty. Okay. It is 8 o'clock in the morning on a, on a Saturday. It is too damn early for this much drama. It is just too... Who can get this wound up at 8 a.m. on a Saturday? Not me. At any rate... I hate driving anymore. I used to enjoy driving. I don't enjoy it anymore because everybody's an asshole. Why is everybody so hateful? I don't know. Oh, there's a meeting at the Moose Lodge. All a whole bunch of people over there. So, we get to Walmart and we're looking at jeans. Now, my son has no jeans. He has not one single pair of blue jeans to his name. Not one because he does not... He doesn't like jeans. He says they're uncomfortable. He doesn't like the way they fit or I don't know. He wears those Adidas like track pants kind of things, you know. Not the cotton ones, but the, the, uh, the other kind. That's all he'll wear and he'll only wear them in black with the white stripe. I tried to get him some in other colors. He wouldn't wear them. So he has probably, no lie, he probably has shit 20 pairs of those things just the he says they're comfortable he likes them so it looks like he wears the same pants every day i swear it's not the same pair but he, he looks like he wears the same thing every single day he wears different t-shirts and stuff but yeah the pants are the, they look exactly the same every day it was easy for me i just bought a whole bunch of, we found a size that fits and we just bought a whole bunch of them so that was easy but uh so, anyway, my son, my younger son, had a hell of a growth spurt over the summer. He did. He grew like four inches. Whoop, just overnight. So, he, um, it's hard to find, apparently, at Walmart anyway, it's hard to find jeans that fit him in the waist and in the length. Either they're too, the waist is small enough or they're too short. Or they're long enough but the waist is too big. There's just, they don't. You know, he's built like Jack Skellington, and they don't make jeans for kids like him. And Well, at least not at Walmart, they don't. So, I had suggested trying Goodwill because he'll probably never wear these jeans again anyway. He will wear them for the spirit thing, and then he'll never wear them again. So, I didn't really want to put a lot of money into it anyway. And he said, no. And we were headed right towards Walmart, a uh, Goodwill on the way to Walmart. I said, we could go in there and look and he said no and then about the time I got way past there he goes well Goodwill would be all right I said well, I'm past it now he said you could turn around but I was in a, an area where it really would not be easy to turn around going I, I, I let's just go into Walmart just forget it so we're in Walmart I'm grouchy because it was while we were looking at jeans that it hit me that I was just completely exhausted just I mean like all of a sudden just ugh. I'm so over this damn week because we're looking at the jeans and he said, oh, this pair will fit. I said, you can't just look at them, fold it up there on the shelf and say they'll fit. They won't. Look at the waist measurement inseam. Those would not fit you. Well, how do you know unless you take them down and look at them? I said, you don't have to take them off the shelf to know. I can tell you right now, looking at the waist and inseam measurement, those pants wouldn't fit. They are way too big and they're not long enough. 
like neither of those things would work for you. We'll just get them. It's fine. No, it isn't because you'll put them on and go, oh my God, they don't fit. I'm not wearing these pants. I know how these things go. So, he said, well, we should have just gone to Goodwill. I said, I suggested that. You didn't want to do it. Well, I told you I changed my mind. So, we're standing there quibbling at the, at the damn jeans section in Walmart. And I said, this is just stupid. This is stupid. So, we got the tank tops. I had to buy a pack of three. It was $12 for a pack of three of those stupid shirts. One of which he'll wear. I couldn't find a single one. He said, we can just go to Walmart and look for one of these. I thought, well, yeah, we probably could. I don't know if we'd find one, but he said it needs to be stained. I said, can we just go look at the t-shirts? Maybe you could find a, a cheesy, corny t-shirt to wear. I don't want to wear a t-shirt. I want to wear one of these. What kind of barbecue dad are you? He said, and I want stains on the shirt too. I said, well, we could put mustard and ketchup on it or something. That'd be fine. So we ended up just arguing in the damn Walmart. And so we ended up just just going, we got the shirts. I forgot the paint brushes. I need paint brushes because we need, I have the side, the railing on my side porch. I had it replaced several months ago and it's dried out enough now that I think it's ready to be primed and painted. So I was gonna try to tackle that this weekend too, but I don't, I wanted to get a couple of paint brushes because I have some paint brushes, but I don't know. Actually, the ones I have may be fine. I, I don't know. Anyway, I thought, I, well, it wouldn't hurt to pick up a couple. Even if I don't use them, I, I'll have them for later. I forgot my paint brushes. We got, oh, and I went to get my shampoo and conditioner. They had the, sh the conditioner, but none of the shampoo I wanted. So I just said, I'm not getting either one. I'll just get them later. I'll just, I want to get them both at the same time. I'll just get them later. Because if I get the conditioner, I will not remember next time I'm in Walmart. Was it the shampoo or the conditioner I couldn't get? I'll forget. Don't get either one. Just wait till you can get both of them. It was a very disappointing trip to Walmart. But, um, so, and for shoes, I said, you need, you need a pair of shoes anyway to mow the yard. Well, I bought him a pair to mow the yard in a pair of just cheap little no-name shoes from Walmart. He's lost his shoes somewhere in the house. He hasn't taken them anywhere. He hasn't been anywhere in those shoes. He said, Mom, I can't find them. They're just gone. How are they gone? He said, I don't know, but I can't find them. How in the hell? Did you wear them anywhere? No, I didn't leave the house with these shoes. Well, either on my feet or carrying them or anything. I don't know where they are. How the hell do you... How do you just lose a whole pair of shoes in this house? He said, I don't know. So I have to, I'm gonna, we're gonna spend part of the day today hunting that pair of shoes because I'm not buying another pair. But I don't wear, I don't want him wearing his shoes. He keeps wearing his school shoes out there to mow. And now they're all green from mow, like wearing them out there to mow. And they're these um, Converse, Towelies, it's like a South Park thing or something. They're towelies. Um, now, normally they're fairly expensive, but I actually got a hell of a deal on them on eBay. Somebody bought them and never wore them, and I got them for like 60 bucks. They were like brand new, and that was a hell of a deal. I'll never get another deal like that again. But he keeps wearing them out there, and he said, "Oh, it's no no big deal. They're fine. We can we can wash them." I said, "I'm afraid to put them in the washing machine. I don't believe I would." So I keep cleaning them by hand, and he's cleaned them a time or two. And you know, they actually clean up pretty easily because the the uppers are just like terry cloth. So, but they really suck up that that green grass juice from mowing the yard. So it keeps turning them green. I said, they don't really look like barbecue dad shoes. You need you need your yard mowing shoes that we bought you. And that's when I found out he had lost them. He said, I don't know. I've looked everywhere. I can't find them. We don't live in a palatial mansion. I mean, there are not many that many places this pair of shoes could be. I said, they, I'm telling you, I know where they are. They are under his bed. I would be willing to bet you they are up under his bed. Because you could put an elephant under there. I don't know. He has lost so much stuff under the bed. And you get up under there and there's always tons of stuff up under his bed. I'd be willing to bet that's exactly where they are. Oh no, I looked. But both of my kids have this thing and I don't know what it is. They cannot see shit right in front of them. 
They, they, I don't know why. They cannot see things that are right in front of their face. Now, if it's 500 yards away and this big, they can see it. But if it's right here, they can't see it. I don't, I don't know. Oh, it's so funny. It's, I've been dealing with it for years. They'll, they'll open their refrigerator. Mom, we're out of ketchup. No, we're not. Oh, yes, we are. There's none in here. Yes, there is. There's a bottle of ketchup in the door. No, there's not. I'm looking in here. There's no ketchup. None. Yes, there is. Well, you come in here and look. There's no, there's no ketchup in here. Is that a Tesla dealership? Sorry, I, I'm just, I'm here at the light, and there's a big sign over there that says, Te I thought they didn't do dealerships. Am I stupid? I thought they didn't do dealerships. I'm looking at one. There's a Tesla dealership over there. What the heck? Really? I'm, I'm dumb. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, there's a Tesla dealership. That wasn't here the last time I came through. There's a bunch of Teslas parked over there, so I'm, yeah. Unless it's a remarkable coincidence, I believe. Yeah, it's a Tesla dealership. What the hell? That used to be Gold's Gym. Now it's a Tesla dealership. When did that happen? I don't know. Anyway, uh, but the shoes I bought him look like dad's shoes. But they were cheap, but they'll work for him to wear while he's mowing the yard, and he won't mess his shoes up anymore, and we won't have to keep cleaning them. Because they need to be cleaned again because he wore them the other day when he mowed the yard. Which I didn't notice until after the fact. So, yeah, I was just so tired. So, anyway, oh, and I got to pick up my print. You know, I showed you the print that I took to Michael's to get a frame. They, had, they called me while we were out and about yesterday and told me it was ready. So, I went and picked that up. And we went to a very, then we went to a very disappointing bin store where the lady yelled at my son. She did. It's this employee, she kind of fussed at him a little bit. He wasn't even, I'm not sticking up for him because he's my son. Like, he legitimately was not doing anything. He picked up a box, you know, like you go in a bin store and they have all these big tables in there and then stuff on the tables. And he picked up this box and he was just turning it over trying to read. It was an Amazon like a shipping box and he was trying to read the stuff on the box because I had told him a lot of these boxes you could just look at them and tell what's you know you can read what's in the box you don't have to worry about opening it because you're not allowed to open the boxes so he picked it up he was just reading it and this lady goes excuse me sir 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 stop trying to open the box you're not allowed to do that like he's he's just looking at it he's legitimately not opening anything and he looks over at her just con genuinely confused. Actually, I don't want to go here. Let's go on up. He looks at her just genuinely confused like, I'm not, I'm not opening it though. <laughs> he said, I, they were kind of across the table from me and he said something. I think that's what he said. I'm not opening it though. So, really? You're just going to go in front of the damn emergency vehicle like that? What a turd. Stupid minivan just went right in front of it. Da -da -da. Dumbass. So, we were about ready to leave the bin store anyway. And after she departed his company, he put the box down. He said, I think I'm ready to go. Are you ready to go? I said, Let's, yeah, I don't want anything in here. I didn't see anything I needed in there. Plus, it was the $12 day. So, everything in there was like, I ain't paying $12 for none of this shit. So... Then we left and we went home. And I went home and I did a few things. And I went upstairs about eight o'clock last night. I laid down on the bed. I didn't wake up again until one o'clock in the morning. I woke up, just sat bolt upright in bed at about 1 a.m. Just, huh, just, what the hell? Like what? And I'm looking at the clock and it's making no sense. Like, why is it one o'clock? Is that a.m. or p.m.? What is happening? Yeah, apparently I just laid down and slept for about five hours. But then I was wide awake at 1 a.m. Wide awake. I didn't get back to sleep till about 2.30. It was horrible. So I'm still tired, but um, I slept until about seven and then, you know, like, okay, reckon I'm gonna, reckon I'm gonna get up. I should have parked right there, but whatever. So I'm at Target, and I'm gonna to try to make a video of the Halloween stuff. 
I wanted to try to get here early before it got crowded, you know. So I thought, let's just go get this done. Hopefully there won't be any mommies and I can make this video without any incident. Maybe I could actually use the original audio. I mean, shit, that would be nice. I hardly ever get to do that in Target because there's always a mommy in there and she's always being loud as hell for some reason. Oh, and we went to Wendy's and they totally screwed up our order, but I didn't realize it until I got away from there. So I had to go back. Oh, that was the other thing I was going to tell you. So one of the things that I ordered, my son loves their spicy nuggets. I think they taste like shit. I don't like them, but he likes them. So we ordered some spicy nuggets. But what they did, so we got the bag that was supposed to have the nuggets in it. What they did, I've, I'd be damned, I don't know. So I've never gotten those saucy nugs that they have. It sounds like something straight out of Idiocracy. Not nuggets, they're nugs. Saucy nugs. They look like tumors that got cut out of somebody's body. I mean, I don't know why the hell. They look just, blue. they look so messy, like, ugh. Blech. I mean, no offense if you like them, but they just look gross. So, apparently, instead of 10 spicy nuggets in the bag, we had a container of some sort of saucy nugs. So, it's got a lid on it. It's like a plastic container. It has a lid. They took that container, turned it like this, and dropped it in the bag. The lid was open, and the saucy nugs had just gone to the bottom of the bag, and it was starting to seep through the paper. That's the way they were when I found them. And I opened it and I said, that is all kinds of ways wrong. That is not at all what I ordered. So I had to turn around, go all the way back up to Wendy's, park, get out, go inside. There are about seven people behind the counter. They're all ignoring me. And finally, a guy came over and he was really nice. He was very apologetic. Really nice guy. Looked like he might have been about 17 years old. Nice kid. And uh, so I showed him the thing. I said, this is the way they were when I opened the bag. They were upright. They were this way and turned and the lid had come off. And all the nuggets and the juices and everything had run down to the bottom of the bag. He said, oh, ooh. And I said, that's actually not even what I ordered. I ordered 20 spicy nuggets. So he said, oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. So they got me my nuggets right away. And they screwed mine up. I had ordered the Junior Bacon Cheeseburger Biggie Bag. And I got some other kind of burger and no fries and only three of my nuggets. And, like, I, the, can we just start over with this order, <laughs> please the one thing they did get right was the vanilla frosty they got that right can we just start over <laughs> and they did they were really nice about it they gave me every they got it all squared away but i was so this was after i had become weary i don't know why this is so blurry i have like it's i'm sorry there's like some kind of weird effect with the light i apologize so, but I was just really tired. Like, I just want to go home. I just want to go home and eat my food and not go anywhere else. But, um, they fixed it all so then I could go home. And I just crashed and slept for like five hours without meaning to. I don't think I even moved. I lay down. I had my phone on the pillow up here and I was listening to a video or something. I was listening, just listening to something and conked out. But it's okay. I'll get through the day. Linda the Good Witch is sending me a message. I'm going to see what he's doing. He's back up in the mountains. Um, the what the place where his condo is is really torn up. Um, he's There's a lot of work that's got to be done. He's already lost about $4,000 in cancellations because he rents it out. He said, yeah, this is not good. And there's no telling how long it's going to be before anything is in a, con a condition up there to rent out anything. Because there's not anything for people to even go up there for. So why would they rent a place there? Fortunately, his place didn't sustain as much damage as some. But yeah, there's still stuff that's got to be done. But um, yeah, he said, I've already lost four, at least $4,000 in canceled bookings. And, you know, so that really sucks. Um, but I mean, I realize that's a stupid thing to complain about given the the, the, the broad range of horrific shit that has happened up there it's worse than they're saying it is um because he's been up there twice now um to work to do some work around there he said it's it's worse than they're saying it is it's it's bad there are still just in north carolina alone there are still hundreds of people missing and presumed dead 
they haven't found the bodies yet. There are hundreds of bodies in morgues that have to be identified. It's worse than, it's worse than they're saying. It's a lot worse than they're saying. And I don't know why they're not talking about it accurately, but they're not. But that's all I'm going to say on that. I don't want to get banned off of here, but yeah, as bad as you think it is, it's worse. It's worse than that. It's just horrible. My God, I, I, I don't know what they're going to do. I don't, I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to go into Target and I want to see if I can make a video of the Halloween stuff. And I hope there's no mommy in there. God, so noisy. I thought if I got here early, it wouldn't be so bad, but we'll see. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and for being here. I hope you have a fantastic weekend and I'll see you again soon.